Yesterday, Business Standard reported that a lot of debt funds were losing money. Why is this happening? Debt funds are supposed to be super safe. Let's take a look. Welcome to Back to Be Rich. Well, strange things are happening in Indian markets. Debt funds are doing badly and losing money and so fists. There seems to be no reason for this. What's happening? Well, what is happening is very quite simple. A lot of India's corporate debt and government debt was held by foreign investors. Foreign investors have been selling in debt market a value far larger than what they have been selling in equity markets. The combined sales in equity and debt market of foreigners is nearly $100 billion. They have pulled out $100 billion in the last two months. So this has meant that in spite of the Reserve Bank's LTRO facility, supposedly to buy corporate and high quality bonds, the sustained pressure of selling by foreign investors has meant that the Indian rupee, the Indian bond market is highly oversold, which means that interest rates have gone up. Let's take an example. The repo rate in India is 4.45. The repo rate is the rate at which the Reserve Bank lends to banks. But the government of India is yield is valuing well, is around 6.45 to 6.7 and there has been stress trades at 6.9. If the central government is has to borrow at 2 to 2.5 percent higher than the Reserve Bank mandated rate, then you can understand the pressure in the market. Foreigners are insistently selling all corporate bonds, including high-quality bonds. HDFC bond, which is one of the most valued corporate bond, had an yield of 9% at one time. Kerala government, which is a sovereign bond, was sold at 8.96%, almost double the rate of the RBI repo rate. Foreigners selling means that interest rates are going up. Normally, when interest rates or yields are go up, the value of the existing bond declines, adjust for interest rates. That is, an investor would rather buy a new bond at 8% than buy a old bond at 6%. So, the old of the old, the holder of the old bond, to get rid of that, has to sell it at 98 rupees so that it adjusts for, adjusts for that interest rate fall. So, these, there is distress sale in the debt market. What I give you is a simple example. So, mutual funds to meet redemption pressures are dumping bonds at whatever price they will get. They would have bought the issues at par and are now selling 3 to 4 rupees below par. And that is why debt securities across the spectrum are losing money. Only those who have accrual bond funds will survive this onslaught. How long will this last? Nobody knows. But since India has $470 billion in hand, the rupee is not falling by big numbers and relatively stable compared to other Asian pairs. This is providing cushion. So the, one of the first currencies where the bond selling will stop will be India's. But this pain may last till June, July. So if you are holding bond, if you are holding debt funds, you can expect that the debt funds will continue to underperform till July end. But if the government decides to borrow for a big stimulus, the pain will continue for a year. It is better that you exit the bond debt fund if you are profitable and keep the money in cash. Because it is impossible for a human being to put up with this kind of volatility. And so as long as foreigners sell Indian bonds, the debt funds are going to give you negative returns. This is the reason why debt funds are giving negative returns. I hope I have answered your query. Thank you for watching, Be Rich. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, share it with your friends and relatives. If you have not already done so, kindly press the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. Please request your friends and relatives to do the same. There is a WhatsApp number given below. If you would like to buy my books, please send a message to that number. If you would like to get in touch with me directly for a consultation, please send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for watching Be Rich.